This is a review and unboxing of the Excelvin BT9909 Bluetooth headphones. I did a review on the BT5800s by the same company, which you can also check out. These headphones are actually $3 cheaper than the BT5800 and look tons more modern. They cost $8.50 and shipping only took 4 days since they shipped from the US. The packaging is fine, especially compared to the other headphones. The packaging on these looks much more up to date. Now they have all the same features and functions as the BT5800 but with a few differences which I will speak more about. So when I open it up, it includes the headphones, the instructions, and the charger cable. Right off the bat, a small but important difference is that these use micro USB to charge as opposed to the macro USB. And to me, that's a huge plus since micro USB chargers are more common now than macro because of Android phones. They look a lot nicer and more modern. However, the pad only sits on top of your head instead of around your ears like the others. But the design is a lot better on these. They are much more comfortable to wear despite not having a foam top and being only plastic. They are more comfortable because they are a lot lighter. They also have a micro SD card slot so you don't have to use them as Bluetooth headphones. You could just use them as an MP3 player. It has an auxiliary port so you can hook them up and use them as non-wireless headphones but unlike the others these did not come prepackaged with their own auxiliary cable. Then you have your on off switch uh, and your microphone right there which brings me to another difference between these two headphones. The microphone on these is actually usable. With the BT5800 the mic was so crappy the other person wouldn't be able to understand you or hear you. But with these I've already tested them and the person on the other line won't even know you're using a headset. A huge difference is that all the face buttons on the 5800 have been condensed to one little knob. So you press down on it to pause and play, double click to make phone calls, push the knob upwards to change to the next song, push the knob upwards and click down to increase the volume, push the knob downwards for previous song, push the knob down and click down to lower the volume and lastly you push the knob down twice to toggle the uh, LEDs which is probably the biggest difference in the two headsets. Now the battery is set to last six hours on these compared to four on the 5800s but if you turn the LEDs on the battery only lasts three hours so it's really based on preference. So here's what they look like when you turn them on. The whole process you saw was them turning on, waiting to be paired, and then pairing with my phone. And if you don't play any music, the lights just cycle through very slowly. And you can toggle the lights on and off easily, and then you'll only see the Bluetooth indication light. The lights off mode is great for battery conservation and using these without being obnoxious to the world. But if you wanted to party, have fun, or be an attention whore, then you just toggle them back on. So here's what they look like when you're playing music. Stopping music and changing songs. A complaint of mine, which I also had for the 5800s, is how small the top piece feels. It just feels like it's made for kids. I like that the ear pieces swivel, but the top just doesn't seem to be wide enough. It stretches out enough, but it feels like you could break them over time, and it extends right here, but I wouldn't recommend doing that since it gives the stretching more torque and leverage to break sooner. So I just use it on its default setting because it feels like it'll bust otherwise. Not because it's cheap. This material, the green and top gray, 
feel great and of decent quality. The top doesn't feel cheap, but after stretching too much and so often, it could break. The ear pieces and plastic around it, on the other hand, this material feels very cheap. It almost feels like plastic cutlery, just very, very cheap feeling. And I understand that's how they keep the price and the weight down, but for me, that's a huge negative. But aesthetically, they look pretty cool, but they feel cheap. And they're super, super lightweight. They weigh like nothing, considering they have a battery and everything inside. They are crazy lightweight, and it's because of that weight that they're comfortable without having or needing a cushion. Okay, that's great and all, but how do they sound? The sound quality, well, there's nothing wrong with the sound, but with them being an on-ear instead of an over-ear design, they don't isolate your ears as well as the over-ear headphones. The sound is fine, but the bass is mediocre. If you're looking for great $200 price range sounding headphones, this isn't for you. If you want um, fun, aesthetically pleasing headphones with $50 range sound quality, then these work just great. And these are also great for walking or jogging for when you don't want a cable swinging around and they won't slip off your head or anything. So for a little more than $8, you get LEDs, Bluetooth with a three to six hour battery life. These are an amazing deal, even more so than the 5800. I'd be surprised to find anything similar to these retailing for less than $50 in the US. Now, just for laughs, here's the English you'll hear when turning it on. Searching and pairing. This is actually worse this time than the 5800s. Bluetooth. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and leave your comments and questions below.